Welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Curls Next Door here. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome and thank you so much for stopping by. So you guys, I wanted to share with you some body care that I do have in front of me that I wish Bath & Body Works would just stop playing around and bring back. These are amazing. I've been loving these for a long, long time, as long as I've had them in my collection. Now, I feel like the oldest one out of all of these that I do have in my collection is just about four years old, 2020. Everything else is gone or discarded. I do have some fragrance mists that are older than 2020, but the body care that I do have in front of me um, are 2020 to now. And I feel like I just wish that they would just stop discontinuing the most amazing products. Put them online if you can't sell them in a store. Do something else with them than just get rid of them completely. Beth and Wadi Works, if you're watching this, I'm gonna need you to put some people in the lab to recreate some of these and put that in a store. You have less than a week. Let's get it popping. So the first one that I wish Bath & Body Works would bring back for semi-annual sale is going to be this one. For this, I crossed the waters for this one. I, <laughs> literally, I got on a cruise ship and picked this up in somebody else's island, okay? Because I wanted it that bad. I bought everything else in the line. I bought the Tiki, Bay Margarita, I bought the Bahama Paradise um, and Banana Flower, I bought the Sunshine Guava Tea, I bought everything, six of them came out for semi-annual sale and I only picked up five and I regretted it to this day because now my collection is not complete. Lo and behold, I was on somebody's cruise ship around semi-annual sale and I ended up picking this one up at a good cost at a Bath & Body Works on somebody's island. And that is going to be the Belize Tropical Cabana. This one has notes of banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sands. I love this one. I don't know why when I sniffed this in store, I did not get it and I regret it up until today. Um, yeah, the, the regret is real, okay? Bath & Body Works, bring this one back. Again, this is Belize Tropical Cabana. Bring this one back for us, okay? Making me tread waters for that. The next one that I want them to bring back is this one right here. This one will not ever be opened until I get a backup of it. This is actually the backup to the backup because I used out the entire body lotion and the, the full set back in 2021, I think. And now this is all I have left. And I feel like I need to go ahead and start to use this one up because we are at the cusp. It is four years already since I've had this one. And even though it's never been opened and it is sealed, I feel like I need to go ahead and use it up. But please bring it back so that we can all just bask in what this body care collection has done for us. The OGs know what I'm talking about. This is the Agave Papaya Sunset. This one is so good, you guys. This one has sugared agave, golden papaya, dulce de leche, coconut sands, and exotic musks. Bring this one back. We love this. We love all the notes in here. We just love how it smells on our skin. Bring this back so that other people can enjoy just like we did, okay? Period. The next one that I wish Bath & Body Works would bring back for semi-annual sale is the Hibiscus Guava Fresca. This one is so good and I've already in my other bottle I have just a little bit left to the bottom 
and I've been using that with my Erin Hibiscus Palm. I love layering this one. It is super amazing. The notes are Alcopulco Hibiscus, Fresh Guava, Grapefruit Aqua Fresca, Beach Iris, and Sea Salt Driftwood. Very beachy, and it's definitely giving all the things for the spring and the summer. Bring that one back too, okay? The next one that even though the girlies out here are talking about, um, yeah, vanilla is only for the fall and the winter. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wear what you want when you want. This here says it all. This bonfire bash is made for the summer. This one is the 2021 edition and it came out for the summer. It is a summer edition at that, okay? I do have the one for the winter with slightly different notes, but this one is definitely giving summer. And look at the color of my bottle. She had enough time to macerate. She had enough time to get darker. Oh my gosh, I don't even want to open this one because once I open it, the clock starts ticking. Then I have to use her up. And I already have one, maybe two more of these that are already open that I have to use up. But yeah, this one is so good. This one has vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musks. So good. Bring this back, Bath & Body Works. Stop playing with us, okay? The next one that I wish that they would bring back was one that because I used to be on the hunt for certain fragrances and if anything smells good, I would go out of my way to get it. And that is what I did for this one. I did not get this one in store. I had to pay $7 or $7.99 shipping and handling um, back in 2001 for this. And um, yeah, I, I paid it, okay? And I'm like the cheapest person on the face of the earth. But I paid the $7 shipping and handling for this. And I bought like six of them because that's how bad I wanted it. This is the Margarita Cupcake. This one is amazing, you guys. This one has notes of key lime. There is sunny citrus blossom and whipped vanilla. Every time I put this on my skin, it's like eating a key lime pie. It's very acid to the top. And I love stuff like that. So yeah, this was right up my alley. It dries down sweet, even though it's very citric to the top. Love this margarita cupcake. Bring this one back. Stop playing. <laughs> okay. The next one is this Midnight Swim. And I think Bath & Body Works probably, I'm guessing, brought this one back a couple of years ago or maybe last year. This one I picked up in 2021 and the notes are Blue Waters, Beach Flower, and Coastal Air. Now, when I first got this, I did not appreciate this for what it is. It's the Coastal Air that got me, okay? Anything with that fabricated synthetic note of air gets me every single time but then i started liking this one and i am into it a lot and i really do appreciate it so yeah midnight swim is amazing it's very aquatic love this one again it is midnight swim they need to bring this one back for sure another one that i will never ever do without is this fresh coconut colada this one is so good, you guys. The notes are coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. Another one that I have been layering with Erin Hibiscus Palm and all of my sunscreeny, sunny days type of fragrance. There's no other words to describe how I feel when I wear um, those type of fragrances that has some type of sunscreen. But anyway, let's get back to this. Bath & Body Works, just bring this one back, okay? Fresh Coconut Colada is really, really just that girl. She's amazing. The next one that I have really been loving, and I feel like she's a super amazing citrus and cherry fragrance, and she was definitely made for the summer, is this 
Firecracker Pop. Firecracker Pop has notes of red cherry, juicy citrus, and juicy berry. Bring it back. Why would you not bring this one back for a semi-annual sale? It's a lot of people out here that are new to Bath & Body Works that would love to have this on their skin for Memorial Day and the 4th of July and um, all the other holidays. Bring this one back. I feel that this one is just, even though it was a summer release, it's made for all year round. Okay, let's, let's get this one back in the store for a semi-annual sale, okay? The next one is Lakeside Citrus. Now, I, I'm ashamed, but not really, to say that I crossed waters. I took a plane, okay? I got in the air, 32,000 feet, to go in somebody's city to pick this one up because of my dumb thought that when I first smelled this, I didn't like it. I was like, there's nothing special about this when I sprayed this on my skin in the store. <sighs> I messed up, y'all. I went to work and I kept smelling myself. For a citrus, this lasted the entire day on my skin. I was completely obsessed with it and I had to go pick this one up. Um, let me see if I can pick up the nose to this one. The notes to this are autumn air, citrus zest, and sparkling water. Oh, I don't even want to open it because out of the two that I picked up, this is all that I have left and I'm sad. I just want them to bring that one back, okay? Period. Now, for aromatherapy, I want Bath & Body Works to bring this one back because it has always been a love for me. And I have just a little bit left that I need to use up because she's on the verge of going downhill from here. If I don't use her up before the end of 2024, I'm going to lose out. This one reminds me of a luxurious spa. Whenever I feel like I am down and out and I want to just rejuvenate and uplift my senses, I would reach for Zen Garden. Zen Garden is so good. It is the best spa-like, luxurious spa treatment that you can put on your skin from Bath & Body Works. They had a lot of releases for the aromatherapy line, but I keep going back to this one and like I said before the end of the year, if I don't get one of these, I am going to find where Bath & Body Works, where their labs are, and I am going to concoct one of these myself, okay? So please bring this back because we love this. This one has notes of a Mimosa Absolute, Pink Pepper, and Ylang Ylang Oil. I love this. I wish I could just give this to you guys to sniff and I was never going to get this. I picked this one up at the winter SAS of 2020 and I went home, used this the night after I took my shower, went back the next day for the rest in the line. I got the shower gel and I got a body wash, I think, or something else to that effect. And I love this. This is all I have left, you guys, and I am about to weep if I don't get this back before the end of the year, Bath & Body Works, I know these are these ingredients aren't cheap, especially that pink pepper extract. But this smells like luxury. It smells like when you walk into a spa, the aura of the spa, the scent profile in that spa, a high-end luxurious spa. That is what I get every time I put this on my skin. Love it. Bring this one back. Stop playing. Stop playing. The next one that I wish Bath & Body Works would bring back would be this brown sugar and fig. Now, I am not the biggest fan of fig. I will get it, try it out, test it out, send it right back if I don't like it. But this is amazing because of that coconut milk note in here. 
The notes are fresh fig, coconut milk, and caramelized brown sugar. This is truly an amazing concoction, flipped over, okay? Rubbed down in the lab of Bath & Body Works. They need to make this and um, I need to pick one of these up on Macari, the body mist, because this is all I have. And I feel like if I had a body mist, I would really appreciate this one just a little bit more. Brown sugar and fig is amazing. Bring that one back for us, okay? And I am going to cut this video short because I'm going to show you two more things. And then I'm going to cut this one short because I feel like I'm running out of time because I'm expressing my... My anxiety is up to here because Bath & Body Works just really needs to bring these back, period, okay? This one is Cherry Limeade. Another good one that Bath & Body Works need to bring back. This one has juicy red cherries, candy limes, and sparkling citrus soda. This one smells like a cherry limeade from Sonic. Point blank period. That is what it smells like. It is so good. It's so juicy. You get the cherry, but you definitely get the lime in this one. It is definitely a refreshing scent once it's on the skin. Love this. Bath & Body Works, bring this one back because there are a lot of people who never had a chance to experience cherry limeade. Um, it is definitely an experience. And the last one, that I want them to bring back is an, uh, a beautiful fragrance that I feel everybody and their mama loved back in 2022. And this one was wrapped in vanilla. One of the best vanillas Bath & Body Works has ever come out with would be this one. This one has soft vanilla, velvet sugar, and chantilly creme. Oh, just bring this back already. Why are we being tortured? Because you took this away from us. I'm glad I picked up backups on backups of this one. I will never get rid of this one. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep this one out so I can use it tomorrow. Again, you can use vanillas whenever you want. Don't let anybody tell you different. Not even Bath & Body Works, okay? Those are some of the body care that I would like Bath & Body Works to bring back. This is just part one. I am going to do another part um, before semi-annual sale comes out. But this is part one because I don't want this video to be way too long and ongoing. It's almost at 20 minutes and I've just been babbling about my love for all of these. I want all of us to experience the wealth that we will all feel once we have this on our skin. So yes, Bath & Body Works, please, 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 please bring these back. Stop playing with us. So that is it. I love you. To all of my subscribers, old and new, thank you so much for subscribing. I love you. May God bless you. And until the next video, stay tuned for part two.